I have so much stuff for our baby girl. I want to show y'all a baby girl haul. I think this is one of the cutest baby girl outfits ever. I was actually going to use this item to do the pregnancy announcement. Hey y'all, I gotta go back to work today. Wish I could get out, but I can't. I gotta put some flooring down, almost like what we got in our room. Gotta be done. All right, let's go see what my wife is doing. It's like one o'clock. No, it's not. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I could get you up quick anyways. I'm just kicking you like crazy. Oh, beating you up, huh? Yeah. All right, I gotta go to work. I love you. Love you too. Bye bye, baby. Bye. Is he not the cutest ever? Oh. <laughs> that baby girl is kicking me like crazy right up next to my ribs. I try to get later of her kicking me. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. <laughs> Jackson never really kicked me that high. Good morning, y'all. I hope that y'all are having a great. What is today, anyway? I don't even know what today is. Today's Thursday. By the time y'all see this, it'll be Friday, I think. I'm not sure how to check. But Shane is getting ready to leave for work. He's getting his tools and he's gonna leave. Unfortunately. And there's my little man. There's my little man. I'll see all your tools. Oh, this is tools I left in the house. <gasps> oh, Lord. <laughs> to do this floor? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I still got that rip piece, but we need to figure out what we're doing about the closet and the hall, yeah. so I haven't, I just haven't done it. We're eating our breakfast, and I actually totally forgot to record. You eating your breakfast? Oh. <laughs> he always does that. I drunk all of this propel water this morning. He helped me. <laughs> You're so cute. We gotta go get you some more of those little drinks. We've been giving him those Pediasure, I think that's what they're called. And it's just to help them <laughs> gain weight. Little kids. Uh, <laughs> oh, you so cute. Uh -huh. And guess what? <laughs> Jackson says so rude. <laughs> What are you saying? Mm -hmm. Saying something. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, you gained weight. You gained weight. <laughs> He's always been on the smaller or the thinner side. He's always been really tall and slender. All, all, ever since he was born, that's how he's been. And he was breastfed, so. Mm -hmm. Not saying a breastfed baby mm -hmm. can't get chunky. <laughs> I love you. Okay, we're gonna continue to eat, okay? Ah, uh -uh, you can't get on my belly. No! Baby, you're eating crazy. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I have so much stuff for our baby girl that I want to show y'all a baby girl haul really quickly. And this is gonna be things that are for her room and also a few outfits. I'm really excited to share this with y'all. And if you are new here, I am pregnant with our baby number two. She is our rainbow baby. I had two back-to-back -back miscarriages before her. I'm really excited to share this with y'all. These are gonna be items for her nursery, decorations, and also some baby girl outfits so stay tuned and if you haven't yet if you are interested in these types of videos please subscribe to our channel we also have an instagram at morgan family underscore yt where i often post stories for q a videos if you don't want to miss out on any of that follow us on there and also on twitter at morgan family underscore yt so let's get started with this baby girl haul what's wrong <gasps> I'm excited to share with y'all this baby girl haul. And like I said, this is gonna be her nursery decorations and also some other things I will show y'all. Let me go get them really quickly. <laughs> I'm just gonna start this haul out with showing y'all her nursery decorations. And we do plan to get more than just this, but these are a few of the things that we already have for her. The first thing 
is really special to us because we did have a miscarriage in January. I always felt like that baby was a girl and me and my husband decided to name her Ariel. When I seen this picture, that reminded me of her and I thought that that would be a perfect, I'm not really sure what the correct word is, but a perfect way to remember our baby girl that we lost in January. We also did lose another baby as well. But this is it. It says Ariel. And this is just a mermaid princess type theme picture. I really like this picture because of the Ariel. I did love the little mermaid when I was younger and I thought this was really cute for her room. And I like that it's white because our walls are very dark and I want to bring in some light colors into our house. The next one that I got is actually sort of the twin of that picture and it is the princess one so it's the same thing except it's for it says princess i'll show you all together what they look like this is what they look like together i thought that'd be really cute for her room and both of these are from hobby lobby they were having their secret 90% sale about a month ago or so, and that's when I got those. And they were both $5 each, somewhere around there. Normally they're about $30 or $40 a piece. And the next thing is also from Hobby Lobby, and it was also on the 90% sale. And this really reminded me of really cute wildlife nurseries. And I also just like the fact that it was very white and bright. But this is it. It has a zebra. Those is really cute. And this picture is originally $50 from Hobby Lobby, which is insane. <laughs> I think we only paid like, I don't even know, 90% off of 50. Whatever that is, that's what we paid for that. The next item that we got is really cute. And we actually didn't get this from Hobby Lobby. It was at one of those kid consignment conventions, I guess. But this is originally from Hobby Lobby, crazy enough. But look how cute this is. I thought this was the cutest thing ever. As soon as I seen it, I picked it up. And the color is identical to her crib. It's a very coral pink. I'm not sure if we're going to paint her crib or not. Probably not. My mom did get our baby girl a changing table that is also pink, but it's more of a cotton candy pink. So I'm not sure what the theme of her room is going to be. Probably just pink and white colors and just, I'm not really sure. Really girly and cute, I think. Not really sure what her theme is. I know several of y'all have asked me, what's the theme of her nursery going to be? And truthfully, I'm not really sure. I just get items that I think are cute and obviously really, really affordable and on discounts is the best way to go because they grow out of the nursery stage so quickly within a year she won't probably like any of this stuff for her room we'll have to change it anyway my son's nursery theme though was Winnie the Pooh and I just thought that was so cute but now he has like a total car room <laughs> the next thing we got from and this is from Hobby Lobby and it was originally six dollars a part of their spring collection that was on 90% sale and it's this which is just a little decorative piece it's I just thought it was really cute it does have some pink on the side and I thought I would put this on her dresser or maybe even a float in uh, a floating shelf I thought would be really cute with this on it so I'm not really sure but pretty cute <laughs> Now I'm going to show y'all the newborn baby girl clothes that we have and I don't have very many clothes that we have got for her but we still definitely need to go do some more shopping and she's also going to wear some of my son's clothes. I still have to go through all of his clothes to kind of see what would be okay for her to wear. I think it's really cute though when a baby girl would wear a baby boy's clothes and look kind of like a tomboy. I think that's really cute. I want to go ahead and show y'all what we have so far at my house. My mama, 
has a ton of clothes that she picked out for the baby girl, but she's keeping them at her house, I think, because she just wanted to look at them. But <laughs> what we have for her is this, and this is actually from my grandma, so our baby's great-grandmother got these items for her, and they are really, really cute. The first one is this, which is a little sleeper. It's got cute little pink hoodies. Look, looks like a little ballerina. It's not, it's focusing on my face and, ah, okay. And it says, little sister. It's kind of got a mix of all these different little colors. I love these little sleepers for newborns. And this is a newborn size because the zipper is super easy to change them through the night. <sighs> I remember those sleepless nights with Jackson when he was a newborn and well even past newborn stage and having the button up sleepers was always really hard to match them up. I've just definitely preferred the zippers in, for a newborn. So this will be one of my favorite outfits for her when she's a newborn. I love that. And she is due in December, so we do have to get things that are a little bit warmer. A lot warmer. The next outfit, I think this is one of the cutest baby girl outfits ever. And it also is a newborn size. And both of these items are from Carter's. It has these little animals on it. It's got Kingwood socks. So cute. And then on the back, we got the pants. It's got striping. And then we got the hat that goes with it. I really think this is so cute. I cannot wait for her to wear this. I really do love it a lot. And the next item I'm going to show you is an item that I picked out and I came so close to getting before we even knew the gender. I kind of had a feeling we were going to have a baby girl because of my morning sickness was way different than with my son. It was way more. But I was actually going to use this item to do the pregnancy announcement. And I almost got it. But I kind of started doubting myself of whether it was a girl or not. So I didn't. But I went back as soon as we found out it was a girl that same week and went. And bought these because I really wanted them before they went out of stock. Because it is more of a summer item. Or a spring item too. But this is what they look like. And I love these. These are probably my favorite ever they're so cute it has a little rainbow and a sun and i did get the size three because i thought that would be a good size for her like when she's not a newborn but kind of the age where they can start wearing shoes but they're really not going to be walking i feel like she might be wearing size three sometime next year maybe the spring or summer i'm not really sure I don't really remember when my son, I tried to remember and get the size I thought would be best. But I just think these are so adorable. And these did come from Walmart. They're just so, so cute. <laughs> these are definitely my favorite. And the reason why I like these so much is because it has a rainbow and she is our rainbow baby. So I really wanted to get these. And like I said, I was actually gonna have this as our pregnancy announcement, but I totally forgot about them. And then I remembered once we found out the gender, I zoomed over there and bought them and they didn't have very many left. I don't know if they sell them all year long or just during the spring and summer. I'm not sure, but I wanted to make sure I got them before if, in case they don't sell them in, during the fall and winter. The next items I wanna share with y'all were sent to me from Source Books. And I'm actually, I'm not obligated to share them with y'all, but I was very shocked at the quality of these items and yeah if you can guess they are books which are so good for kids babies i do believe that you should start reading to your kids as soon as they are born and continue because it really does help them learn and they did send me a letter right here and it says hi heather we're so excited to help welcome your little one into the world may your upcoming chapters be filled with love and light warmly the At Source Kids family. Here we go. So let me show you the books that they got, they sent. And these would be good books for toddlers and newborns alike. It, it really doesn't matter the age. Um, 
The first one is What If. It's a really cute little baby book. So cute. And all these books you can get from source books. <laughs> I will leave the links down below to source books if you are interested. They just wanted to send them to me to just to show me what they had and I was so impressed. And in one of our vlogs where my husband was reading to Jackson, he was actually reading him these books. And Jackson loved these, loves these books and he is two and a half. So I know that these books would be good for two and a half year olds and definitely newborns as well. I mean, obviously a newborn can't read, but, or even really look at the pages, but you can read to them and I think that's really good for them. All right, the next book is Eight Little Planets. This is one of my son's favorites. And the next book is I Love You So. And then this book I was extremely impressed with because this is more for the parents. <laughs> Definitely for the parents. And this is the Complete Baby and Toddler Cookbook. And let me tell you, there are some really good recipes in here. And as a new mom, it can be hard to figure out what to give your child when they're first getting introduced to solids and st you know starting that process so the recipes in here start from six months plus to two plus years i really do like this a lot it show it starts from the very beginning where you start giving them these types of things to when they are two you want to start doing something a little bit different I highly recommend this book and you can get this with source books. I will leave the link down below to source books so y'all can check it out as well. I hope that y'all enjoyed this newborn baby girl haul. I know there wasn't that much stuff but we really don't have that much stuff to share with y'all. I do have a few more baby items I want to show y'all in the near future that I think are extremely essentials. I, I still have my best bassinet that I use with Jackson, which I will share with y'all which one it is and why I think it's one of the best ones out there. And we have pretty much a lot of things that we have with Jackson I will be sharing with y'all. And we have a few things that we have got just recently, but I don't want to make this video too long. So I just wanted to share with you those things and yeah, pretty much. Look, somebody came to visit. <laughs> Dang, this is nice. Uh, looks like a brand new house. I love it. <laughs> <He's mad. laughs> you ain't getting my phone, boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at him hugging me. Yeah. Oh, Jackson. That was kind of... Oh, did you get that? Woohoo! He walked on my head. Look, he's jump roping. He's going jump rope! Woo! Get it, boy! Uh-oh, what happened? Come on now! Do a jump rope. Yeah, woo! What are you doing? <laughs> My mom left a little while ago and I was just sitting here resting and baby girl started kicking like crazy. So I was gonna try to show y'all her kicking if I <laughs> if I can. There's your kicking. He's moving. Such a shark. Uh, Look at 
too short. <laughs> well, this is a different way to record. I hope it doesn't look too bad. And if it does, I'll never do it again. <laughs> It'll hurt to try new things. Yeah. I know you don't like doing new things, but we're going to do it. Just try. Anyway, Shane's back home. Hey, y'all. I'm back. <laughs> He's been home for a few hours. Yep. You ate, played video games. That's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. But, hey, Jackson. Yeah. You ready to do today's shout out? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get it done. Where's your phone at? <laughs> Hidden. All right, we'll get it. He's looking at me, uh, though. Stop, Shane. He is so scared of Jackson getting his phone. I'll let her have it. Was not the mess with it we had to change cameras because that one was dying. And he and Jackson was playing with it, so Okay. So. Can you sit down please? Just be still. Just give it a shot. Okay, so today's shout out is gonna go to Lisa Smith. And she says you guys are adorable. But when it comes to baby names, you have to compromise. I always try to think of the most important people in my family or the loved ones who might have passed away. My three babies are Jasper, Hayden, and Annabelle. I have parts of their grandparents' names or something that significantly is special memory of them. And then her question is, do you... Can we cut this off? No, we can't cut it. And her question is, did y'all have a big or small wedding, and what was your wedding song? Well, we had a, well, I guess a small wedding on the beach. It was small, meaning it was literally just me and Shane. No, it wasn't. It was about it. We had your grandparents, your parents, and then my sister. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and the preacher, of course. I mean, it was a nice. <laughs> Your stomach's like making noises. Yeah, and I mean, it was a pretty good wedding. Well, I mean, it wasn't a pretty good wedding. It was an awesome wedding. Uh, cause we got married on the beach. <laughs> yeah, it 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 was beautiful, and I really didn't want a big wedding. No, I mean, it just been crazy. I mean, I, honestly, I don't think we could ask for better. No, it was exactly what I wanted. Yeah. Exactly. It was on the beach, and we had this beautiful little, what do you call it? Arch. Arch with purple, like... Flowers. It, yeah, it had flowers and like a ribbon thing. Yeah, we need to post some of the some of our wedding pictures. I yeah. think that would be real good. Um, Jackson was in it. I mean, we had a blast. Yeah. It was great. We had such a great time, and... We really didn't want to go back. I actually had to go back because of my job. Yeah, Jackson wore a tux, didn't he? With a yep. tie, blue yep. tie. Had a snap-on tie. And all of it stayed on him while we did the pictures. <laughs> I bet he wouldn't do it now. No. <laughs> he was a lot younger. He was yeah. still a baby. Let's see. Dad was there. Your mom was there. Eddie was there. Your grandparents was there. And then my sister was there. Yep. But because it's so far away, none of our other family, or none of my family could have went. It was just by chance she was in town at that time. So that's the reason why my sister came. Why is your stomach growling so much? I don't know. <laughs> it's just rolling this whole time. It's just really loud. It's making me laugh this entire time. <laughs> well, there ain't nothing I can do about it. Come on, let's. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, we didn't have no music, did we? Nope. We just had the waves crashing on the beach yeah we was literally was right there there was like nobody there i think there was a couple of people and they just watched us while we did our wedding yeah there was a bunch of people that was on the pier that clapped for us yeah we did have a lot of people clap for us and we had like i said we had the last i mean i don't think there's anything we could have done different to make it any better at least in our point of view i mean us going to a huge church and have a thousand people there just don't sound like a bunch of fun to me. I didn't want to do that <laughs> at all. I loved how our wedding went. Even if it was more local, I wouldn't have wanted a bunch of people to come. Yeah. Well, we really need to show her some. I mean, I know that we showed her wedding dress. 
We pulled it out of the closet and showed it. She was in a double dress <laughs> that was turned into a cocktail dress mm -hmm. where the train or whatever you call it comes off. Yeah, his stomach is literally making noises the entire time. It's making me laugh. <laughs> well, damn, we're trying to let you me shake go, it up. You gotta go poo poo. No, not right now. <laughs> we went to Applebee's afterwards. <laughs> oh, God, no, that was a disaster. Mm. How we was that a disaster? In, we waited like an hour just to get our drinks. Oh, I don't remember. Like every important event that we go, when we go to Applebee's and it's an important event, they take two hours for us to get our food. <laughs> we went. Back to the hotel and went to sleep. By the time we doing all that, I mean, it was late that night and we was exhausted. All of us. It's one of my happiest moments because I got to marry the woman I love. Yeah, we do have to give special thanks to your mom and Eddie because they're the ones who paid for a wedding. Yep. Yeah, a blast. Want to go do it again? No. <laughs> Will you marry me? No. Uh, really, huh? <laughs> I'm leaving. Uh, That's what you told me the first time I asked you to marry me. Oh my gosh, don't get into that. Should we right go now. into that? I said, let's no. get into that. Yeah, I asked her to marry me, and she's like, no. <laughs> Alright, well, thank y'all so much for watching today's video. If you like this video, we would love for you to subscribe to mm. our channel to continue following mm -hmm. our life with baby number two <laughs> and our crazy little toddler. Yeah. And also, if you would share this video with your friends and family, that would mean a lot to us. We also have an Instagram at morganfamily underscore YT. And I did post a story like yesterday asking for your baby name suggestions. And I got a ton of responses. I mean, no, I said a story. Oh. I didn't say post, I said story. Oh yeah, well that's always normal for you. <laughs>